What's up guys, Nax Tech here and today I'm going to be doing a video of Siri versus Google Now or more accurately Google Voice Actions. So I've got Siri running on my iPod Touch 5G here, the newest iPod Touch and Google Now running on my Nexus S which is a two year old phone but it still performs pretty damn well. What I want to say about Google Now before I start is there's two parts. Google Now kind of gives you this gives you like the weather, your your scores, tells you how far away you are from your appointments, distance back home and stuff like that, right? And there's Google Voice Actions which is it's not it's not an assistant, but you can just ask questions and it'll Google it for you and sometimes it'll bring up a nice little card. Siri on the other hand is a proper assistant and you can ask it a broader range of questions. So I'm just going to start off with questions here. How long is the Golden Gate Bridge? Right, so Google Voice Actions wins this one because it's actually told me the distance in a nice little card here. Google results are underneath, giving me the distance. Siri, for some reason, it did get the question right, but it's just given me the a map of the, Go the Golden Gate Bridge. It hasn't told me the distance. So that's one fail there for uh, Siri. Let's try another question. Let's try a sports question. What was the San Diego Chargers score? The Chargers lost the Chargers to the Broncos down 35 to 24. Yesterday. The final score was 35 to 24. Okay, so they both pretty much pulled it up at the same time. We've got the scores of both, but there's more information on Siri. We get the quarter by quarter play. Quick side note, pissed me off because the Chargers were 24 up and then 35 unanswered points. They're 24 up in the half, but anyway, moving on. That's pretty good for both of them. That's new with the new Siri, it can do sports. Let's ask some other questions. How old is Frank Lampard? Frank Lampard is 34 years old. Frank Lampard is 34 years old. Again, both got the answer right. Google now is quick, I had to tap that, I don't know why that is. Nice picture, his age, date of birth. Here we've got, it just told me he was 34 years old. Um, there. These are his goals in the season, so pretty good. I mean, let's, ch let's check out another sports question for the Premiership. What are the Premier League standings? Okay, so Google now here didn't know the answer really, so it's just defaulted me to a Google search. Um, Siri has pulled up the information. It's pulled up the current table, which is very, very nice. You can see this is from Yahoo Sports down here. So that's pretty good from Siri there. That's what we like to see. We don't want to go out into a browser really and search other stuff. So that's a win for Siri. You can see how I mean these two are different really. They're kind of hard to compare because this is basically just pure facts. You throw facts at it. This you can ask loads of stuff. And another example is this, for example. How many calories are there in a Big Mac? Let me think about that. And again, it hasn't got this kind of card, so found. Google, Google search, which you could, you could find the answer there, but here, this is from Wolf from Alpha, I take it, and it's pulled out 520 calories. So I've got the information right there from Siri, which is really, really nice. Um, let's try, Let's try some more factual stuff, maybe. Yeah. How far is the moon? Moon is two hundred and thirty-eight thousand five hundred miles from Earth. So, okay. I mean, they both come up with the right answer, but you can see when Google knows its stuff, when the question is like said right, when it understands it, it's much, much quicker than Siri. Um, came up with a nice little card which you can swipe away here and the Google results underneath it didn't get it. Much quicker when it knows its stuff. So that's a big plus for Google now and Google voice actions. Siri has to go get it from Wolfram Alpha, so it's slower. But hey, the information's here, right? So pretty much a win for both of them. Uh, let's try some uh, movie reviews. Reviews for Ted. Procedure intended to establish the quality, performance, and 
Okay, so Google now has just completely failed on that one. This one's asked me. Let's try that again for Google now. Really, really nice from the new Siri. What did I ask? Oh, yeah. Reviews for Ted. Reviews for 10. Reviews for Ted. Okay, that one. That time it's got it right. Let's see if it pulls up anything. I actually give you nice little reviews here. Again, see, it hasn't brought up a card or anything like that. It's just brought up the Rotten Tomatoes stuff. So you can get the answer. Let's try some restaurant stuff. Okay. Chinese restaurants near me. And I think Google now won that. And yeah, they both have pulled up stuff that is near me. Google now has pulled up a lot more. And um, we've got four on Siri and loads A to G on Google now. And you can click this. Try just try directional stuff. Directions to Bedford. Okay, we've switched over to Apple Maps over here, and here we're going to switch over to Google Maps right now. That's correct, they're both correct. What have we got here? Get directions. And they've both got it right. It has an extra kick on here, but they've both got it right. If you're comparing the Maps apps, we know the problems with Apple Maps, so the, uh, the Google Maps is better. Uh, it shows you live traffic, as you can see here distance and alternative routes, navigation, just hit that. I prefer Google Maps to Apple Maps. I think that's just a given. So we'll get out of that. Um, what else is there? What other questions can I ask? Can do a simple one. Who is the President of the United States? Barack Obama, this one didn't quite get it. Who is the President of the United States? The President of the United States of America is Barack Obama. So you can see when Google now works, it's so much quicker than Siri. Um, but you can't have a conversation with Siri. I don't know if you'd want to. You can have a conversation with Siri, sorry, not Google now. Let's uh, say this. I think I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> a short while you, but yeah, generally, you know, that's what you'd want, right? The hospitals or 911 or whatever, 999. Google now didn't have that kind of understanding of the question and just brought up the standard Google results. So you can see what I mean by this is more of an interactive system. You can talk and do funny stuff with that as Google now is just a, a straight factual system. Now, there is kind of like debates as what you want on a phone. I don't really want to go around my phone talking to Siri. I just, if I have a fact and I want to know it, then I'll probably use Google now. But because Siri pulls stuff from Wolfram Alpha, I think it has a better understanding of, of stuff, like general, general things. So yeah, let's see if we can, I think we can turn off things as well with this now. Let's try. Turn on Bluetooth. Okay, so they both can do that. Both can. No, no, I thought Siri could do that, but no, apparently not. This one says, "Sorry, device features is not yet supported." It did get the question. So, yeah, they both can't do that yet. I think Siri can now open apps. I don't think Google now or voice actions can. Let's try that. Um, open Twitter. Okay, so that's switched over to my app. It's opened it. This has just pulled up Google. And let's try. Post to Facebook. What's up? Here's your new Facebook status. Ready to post it? No. To continue. Just hit cancel. So you can see okay. Google now didn't get that. It. But 
it's not meant to get it either, really. I mean, this is Siri is an assistant. Google Now is not an assistant. It's different. Siri doesn't have this functionality. It tells you how far things are. Like, let's hit more cards. See what we've got here. It doesn't tell me it's 17 minutes to work. Siri so can't do stuff like that, you know. It's all set that. And you can get loads of different sample cards when you're near things. If you're near a bus stop, this will pull it up, you know. Your sports stuff will come up automatically. If you've got a flight you've searched, it'll come up automatically. Places and stuff. Cinema times and locations will turn up, but only when you're near a cinema. So they are completely different. They can all do the standard things like this. Set a timer for five minutes. Okay, five minutes and counting. So, Siri set a timer. This isn't. Let's try that again. Set alarm for five minutes. Set timer for five minutes. Okay, so that's just not going to do it. I thought that did do it. Let me try it, rephrasing it. Set alarm for five minutes. Setting alarm. And there you go. You can see it is figured out when it's going to be. Actually, that's wrong. It's going to... I don't even know what that's... Yeah, that's just set an alarm for... for five o'clock. So, yeah, Siri's going to win out there. Let's cancel that. If you're going to ask me who's better, I mean, I'm sure you, you've all got your own judgments and stuff. I'm not going to, I'm going to leave it to that. I think they're both good in different ways. They're pretty level. Series new update has allowed it to do a lot more stuff. It couldn't do the cinemas, the film reviews, the sports. That is only available on iOS 6. So that's only just come available. Google Now, as being my daily driver, I use this a lot and I always check my football scores how far it is back home, you know, stuff around me, the weather. I use that and it's nice that I don't have to ask, I just pull it up and it's there. So they both have great, great functionality. Um, if I was leaning one way, it would be towards Google Now because I don't really want to talk to my phone all the time to get the stuff, you know. I have to ask it the weather if I want to use this. What's the weather? I have to do that step, whereas if I just hit the Google Now button, it tells me the weather without me asking. So, yeah, if I'm leaning one way, it's got to be towards Google Now, but I'll let you lot make your own assumptions, your own choices. Let me know what you think of this video. As always, if you like my videos, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.